What's going on you guys? Today we're playing Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Honestly, I've heard this is a good game and I don't know I've never played it. It's free and apparently it's pretty good. Um, I was looking online for more reviews because the description literally just says like make pizzas, feed them to children and I can't remember there's something else but it was like this is a lighthearted game. I was like is this scary? But anyways, this is day 25 of the horror game marathon. Let's get right into it. Let's go to the pizzeria. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, we're pretty good. Why is the wait? Why is the Freddy Fazbear there? Why is he so hungry? What the heck? I mean, come up here. Hey, we did it. <laughs> what the heck is this? Wait, wait, what the heck? <laughs> hey, we're doing really good this time. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what was that? That was really kind of... <laughs> Dude, what? Wait, wait, click, I, oh, what? Begin tape, leaving dead space, three, two, one. What is this? The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin Dude, what the heck? In three, two, one. What? Document results. <laughs> Begin audio prompt. Three, <laughs> two, what one. is this? Oh. Results. Begin audio prompt in three. Two, what is this, bro? <laughs> Ugh, stop. <laughs> Document results. <laughs> I'm just gonna put no. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Dude, what was all that? It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket. And <laughs> take a huge gamble on your future. Yeah, let's do it. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchise. Let's do it. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. 
but don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere, making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere. The cheese is so real. Customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Wait, Cutting what? Corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Oh. Of course, that would only be a serious danger. You can't prove anything. Outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Okay. Wear that smile with pride and <laughs> let's make some money. Let's do Fazbear it. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Wait, what are we doing? What is going on? <laughs> Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. I don't- this game's so weird. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Let's buy something. <laughs> Wait, how do I put it down? All right, how do I just buy? All right, how do I put them? Wait, how do I put the things down? I'm so confused. Hey, nice. How come I couldn't put anything else down? Alright, finished. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome! That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That <laughs> okay. Be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. <laughs> However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. 
Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Wait. Oh, God! Bro. Okay, let me do my stupid thing. Wait, are these du okay? Yes. I gotta print a lot of stuff. I gotta do all these things, I guess. Without dying. Dude, how do I check the vents without doing this? I gotta have... So, what's the point of turning them off, I guess? So I can hear? Dude, why is the computer so loud? I don't understand. Bro, we have dial-up. <laughs> Wait, this is how I tell where things are? Ah, oh, come on, this is taking too long. There's no way I can track. Okay, whatever. And done. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Okay. Let's do it. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect. No, come on, routine. stop this. And that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for... Oh, uh, look at this. ...which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then, you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences. Namely, death. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. 
If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. No. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. <laughs> I guess let's do this. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. What? <laughs> you can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Dude, what is this? Document results. <laughs> Why is it move? It just moved, three, didn't it? Two, one. Didn't it just move? Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Why, bro? <laughs> bro, I would have shocked it. And something is loose in your pizzeria. Yay. <laughs> what the heck is this? New lawsuits, zero. Look at this thing, bro. <laughs> Discount ball pit, liability risk one. Marked down. Dude, I kind of want to buy this. The liability risk. What, I want to see the second stage too. I want to see what happens. <laughs> Alright, we'll buy that too. Alright, let's save our money. Play test. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Dude, it died. No! Dude, it's not. It, it, it's harder than you think. Four hundred. Why does that matter? <laughs> Dude, where's my other stuff? Then I get a second stage. Has something inside. Wait, play tokens left, we have nine? Wait, so I can get something? Wait, did I use one when I did play test? Oh, no. Dude, I have so much money now. We're rich, bro. Dude, 
I hear something. Oh no, come on, bro. How do I stop it? No! Oh, no! What the heck, bro? What is the point of turning the vent on and off? I don't understand. Dude, something is in there. I already heard it. Wait, in the bottom right, the number goes down. Is it, like, not allowed to go to zero or something? I'm not trying to die, bro. What are you talking about? I'm not trying to die. What are you talking about? Too bad. I don't want to die. It's coming from this one. Wait, select a room to activate music? What? Wait, if so I can distract it? Wait, that's crazy, okay. Wait, what do you mean warning sign? Nah, no, wait, are you kidding? No, you're kidding, what are you talking about? Warning sign. Nah, hold on. No, bro. There's no way. And this computer's so loud. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Finish this. Why does it take so long to print all these menus? Try to change it to another location. I don't remember which one. I don't know which one. I don't even know what silent vent. Ew, stop it. Scan faster. No, no, I. Uh, dude, I heard a, z a little zappy. Alright, where's the. Where's it at? Wait, didn't I just see. Wait, am I tripping? Didn't I just see it on the, the screen? Oh! Also, can you delete that real quick? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, go away, bro. Almost done, almost done. There's also a warning sign on maintenance. Yes. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. Really? We are unsure of its origin. I don't see anything. Oh. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, 
You can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Oh, let's try this again. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as your taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. I'm gonna tase it this time. Prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. All right, I'm tasing it the next time. I'm not doing it this time. I'm kind of scared, bro. Should I do it now? Should I do it now? Document results. What, dude? Why is it doing this? It didn't do anything. One. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna tase it now. Document results. Oh. <laughs> Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. This is so weird. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. That's what I thought. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. Hey! Wait, that wasn't so bad. Okay, you just have to shock him. What a deceptive calling. What? I knew it was a lie the moment I heard it, obviously. But it is intriguing, nonetheless. What? <laughs> yes, we're back to the good part. <laughs> Dang, look at his little dance, though. It goes hard. Liability risk three. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what happens. All right, let's try this. Wait, what are we doing? What are we fishing? Wait, what? Alright, let's try again. Is it gonna something bite it? Is something gonna bite?
What is going on? I'm waiting for something to bite. Alright, I'm gonna give it like whoa. Five more seconds. If nothing bites it, I'm just gonna press it again. Maybe you have to wait a long time. I don't know. Weird. Okay, last, la last, I'm gonna try one more. I'm, I'm just gonna press it when it's down. Like, right there. So, like, what is this? Oh! Oh! Okay. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. Oh, is, is it just random? Okay, whatever. Dang, we're getting crazy now. Mm, let's try this one again. Wait, what is this? What? <laughs> Wait, where's the ball pit? Didn't I sell it? Oh no. Wait, it's right here. This is so weird. Alright. Dude, the... <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> we did it. We did it. Dang, dead center. Barely. Man, I don't get nothing for that. Alright. Scary time. <laughs> I hate this part, bro. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I saw the, the things this time. It like flashes on the screen. I'll do this and then I'm gonna s go again. What? That was not even. Cl That's not close to me. Dude, it was like on the top right. What? Wait, how? Wait, how far am I? Wait, does it start me at the beginning? Oh, continue. I was gonna say, there's no way. What the f- How do I do anything?
Oh, I need the vents because it gets too hot. Dude, okay, could you go? How do I make him go away? What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Wait, is it because I turned it on and he's in there? <laughs> what? Right, let's try one more time. Let's give it one more time. The other temperature. But it, w it wasn't like super, 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 super. It was over 80. So over 80 is like too scary. Dude, I shouldn't have taken these ads. Alright, does anything help me survive? <laughs> Lemonade clone. Security doors. Wait, can I- is this for me? Does this keep me safe? I don't know. One more try, one more. Is this doing anything? Bro, it's 90 degrees almost. Hey, yo, is this doing anything? Dude, okay, are we dead? Holy. Is this even doing? It's it gonna be 100 degrees in here. Wait. 101. Okay. Alright, okay, that doesn't do work very well. Uh, if we're dead, okay, I understand. Holy. Okay, let's play this a diff- <laughs> I think maybe we should call it for today. Dude, maybe we should give this another try sometime though. This was actually a pretty good one. I think this is a pretty good one. Jump scares two and lots of fun. <laughs> fun, 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 what? Alright, that's gonna wrap up the 
horror game marathon for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep recommending me games, please. We're almost done. But um, I still need to f some games to fill. Okay, what is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, this game was a lot of fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, I'm out here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.